Hi, and welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with a wide shot of some of my puzzles separated by a brand. And I'm just going to continue this wide shot until I'm ready to break down what I have. I am doing this puzzle stash or puzzle collection video because if you've seen any of my pictures on Facebook, what you have seen is, especially up here, everything was out of sorts. And secondly, every time I look for a puzzle, I had to look and look. I couldn't always find what I was looking for. So like I said, I've separated these by brand. Please don't mind any of the mess that you see in the background. I only grabbed the puzzles. I did not fully clean my room. I did put away laundry, but that's it. So let's start with Ravensburger. And as I start with each one, I'm going to put them on the shelf and tell you which ones I have built. Okay, with this wide angle shot, don't mind the closets on the left and the right, but with this wide angle shot, these are all of the Ravensburger puzzles I have. Now, like I said, I have a couple more coming in, but for the, for the sake of getting everything shelved, I think I am going to throw those two 2,000 piece puzzles up here in that 1,000 piece your graphics right there. So let's do that really quickly. Okay. That is five cubes and we only have 24 cubes. And I think I counted 170 puzzles. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. At the end of the day, even though I'm going to organize it better than it had been, I may end up going ahead um, tomorrow and, or even later today and buying that two by four from uh, Ikea and have hubby build it and put it up there. It will make the puzzles up high, difficult to reach. Sorry for the glare, but I can't help that. But I think that I may do that. Okay, I did it differently than I thought I was going to. So what you see up there, don't know if it's gonna stay this way. These are all my Cobble Hill puzzles. My one Schmidt puzzle, I have one more coming and I barely have another enough room to put it up there. I've got three Gallison puzzles, two Doddle puzzles, two Kodak puzzles, which I'm not sure where I'm going to keep them, but they're not going to stay there. Two blue kazoo puzzles, color wheel and triangles, and three bits and pieces puzzles. So that's what I stuck up top. In front of some of these shelves is this puzzle, but we're going to talk about that puzzle at the very end. I have this beautiful Bluebird puzzle, Bluebird Lookout, which I think might be one of my next few puzzles. Then I have this cat puzzle that I did already, cat lineup, and my only Springbok puzzle right here, an ice cream or confectioner or something along that line. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to take these off the shelf because the buffalo I think are going to stay at the bottom. So I think now what we have here is Daryl Bush, one Tom, uh, Thomas Kincaid, one Terry Redland, four Chuck Pinson. And then over here, I have a couple of Charles Wysocki, but they're out of order because I had them I had them coming down. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my Charles Wysocki and my Amy Stewart to the bottom, and then random puzzles are going to go right here. So I will tell you about all these puzzles after I do a little bit more rearranging. I am back with my puzzles somewhat organized. Let's take this down just for a moment. We'll talk about it in a few moments. So I have four rows, four times four. They're all filled. I have a space for these puzzles, but for the sake of this description, description uh, they're on the floor here for just a moment. If we start at the top, we have four Thomas Kincaid 500 piece jigsaw puzzles as a set. Even though it only took me a day to do all four of these puzzles, I will tell you that they were very, very difficult because they are very blurry. His artwork is absolutely stellar, but it doesn't translate well to jigsaw puzzle format because it, they were just so blurry. So I really don't want a lot more of the Kincaid Disney puzzles. Here we have, oh, I almost pulled them down. Here we have some empty boxes. We have five empty boxes of my Cobble Hill puzzles. 
red, yellow, orange, green, and blue. These are assembled and these are glued and I have a plan for them once I finish. What do I mean once I finish? Once I finish the series, which is including pink and purple. So just two more in that series. Then along that series line, we have black and white and we have rainbow gradient. Then we have the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air. Now I know that Cobble Hill has other uh, series. And once I complete all of these, which how many is up there? Eight more then I will think about investing in another one of the Cobble Hill series. Now these are like random or ribbon, ribbon cut. It's not your standard puzzle piece shapes. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I adore them and love that series. Moving on up, we have two mystery puzzles, Agatha Christie, The World of Agatha Christie and Murder at the Pyramids. Neither puzzle is represented on the box because they are mysteries to be solved. Then up here, and I'm just going to put the camera in so I don't have to lift the box. We have great white shark and messy bedroom kittens. These are two lenticular 3D puzzles I got from Puzzler.com, and I am now an affiliate with them. I love them so much that I have not broken them down, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to glue them on the back or tape them and where I'm going to put them. Then I've got my rainbow Lego puzzle, 1,000 pieces. Look at that puzzle. I cannot wait to do that puzzle. It's going to be a blast. This is a puzzle that came today. It's called Gradient. It's my very first Cloudberries puzzle. The price came down by about 10 bucks, so I was able to grab it. Then I have this Schmidt. Oh boy, I have this Schmidt. I just show you the side. I have this Schmidt puzzle that I just did recently, like a few days ago. And that's uh, my first, very first Schmidt puzzle. I do have one or two more Schmidt puzzles coming in the next couple of days. I'm excited about that. Then I have four Anatolian puzzles. This is Marine to Life and it's by Dominic Davison. And I know you really can't see it well. And if you wanna see any of these close up, let me know and I will write that down and put it in my community page. Um, but this Marine to Life, I did as a diamond painting and I gifted it to my daughter and her husband and family. And I love it every time I go to their house. So now I can do it, hang it up in my house in puzzle format. Then we have two more, Paris and Bookshelf. This is called the Bookshelves. This is Paris Balcony or something along that line. And then we have another one called Tuscan Villa. I did this one a couple of years ago. I have two Bagrariums puzzles. There's nothing written on the side of the box, but this is Blooming Color. And that Bagrarian Puzzles is called Rainbow Triangle, so I only have two from that brand. Moving over here, we have three Gallison Puzzles called Book Club and Vintage Paper Dolls. Haven't done that, but I have done Vintage Library. And I don't know if you can kind of see the gold foiling there. Well, the gold foiling is in the puzzle pieces as well, so this is definitely going to be a rebuild. Then I have Color Wheel and Triangles, my two blue kazoo puzzles. I did triangles. It was a breeze, five and a half hours for that 1,000 piece gradient puzzle. And Color Wheel will come up soon. I only have three bits and pieces puzzles. That will change eventually, but here they are right here. Oh, three. I have these two and I have this one, but this is a glow in the dark one. I have three different glow in the dark puzzles. And hopefully I can show you what the other ones are. Then I have to have a seat. <laughs> if we go over here, the way that I've temporarily arranged it is I was able to get all of my Ravensburger on the top row. And I still have room maybe like for a couple up there, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that space up there. Um, actually, well, yeah, I just came up with an idea. So these are... That's a mushroom puzzle. That is like an antique bookstore, if I'm not mistaken. This is a, 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 a Paris, uh, this might be Paris Sunset. This is another bookshop uh, puzzle but th that I have. I have a lot of bookshop, bookstore, bookshelves, anything books, puzzles, such as this one, the Bazaar Bookshop too. This is one of the collage puzzles that I have not yet done, kitchen covered. And I saw somebody doing this a couple weeks ago. I wanted to drop everything and work on this one. 
Here is curious cupboard number three, which is my very first collage jigsaw puzzle that I've ever done. And then we have the craft cupboard, which was my second collage jigsaw puzzle. Then we have the collector's cupboard, which I just did maybe two, three weeks ago. Then we have the awesome alphabet A, which I did maybe three days ago. Loved it. Now, this awesome alphabet goes from A to J. I currently have E, which is still shrink wrapped. I will pick that puzzle up in a moment. It's still shrink wrapped. I am only buying these as price drops to $20, no more than 20 bucks. So, and I need to get B. I already bought C and D, which is combined, and that was like $21. So now I need B, E, no. I need B, F, G, H, I, and J, and I'll get them. And then I have three Disney puzzles. I'm just gonna adjust my chair. This one is most everyone is mad. I loved this puzzle. I absolutely loved this Alice in Wonderland Disney puzzle. Loved it, loved it, loved it. That red tree gave me a little bit of a headache, but hey, it was heck of a lot of fun. Loved it. Then I have two more Disney puzzles. This was really a lot of fun because it's a collage of nine Disney movies. Some of them are The Incredibles, Toy Story, and Toy Story 2, Cars, Monsters, Inc., um, Ratatouille. So I love this. One of my favorites. Want to redo that one day. This one here is also a Disney one called The Artist Desk, if I'm not mistaken. Now, a lot of people complain about how dark it is, especially on that left side. And with all that white paper, they say it's really challenging, but I'll get to it one of these days. My only 1500 piece puzzle in my collection because I caught it on sale. But now that I have the bits and pieces puzzle board, who knows, I may try it. Then here, my next four puzzles are 500 piece puzzles. And I'll show you, this one is called, it's a stamp collection and it's called, um, uh, vintage vintage flora flowers on stamps i loved this puzzle i loved it i got the second hand and then i got this on amazon i'm pretty sure and it was really quick it's like an artist studio the green door and the green shelf gave me a headache but who, who cares because that's what the fun of puzzling is it's a challenge sorry shaking the camera as i try to get this box out then this one I got secondhand, 500 piece puzzle. It doesn't really, really appeal to me, but I think my brother-in-law did. No, I'm feeling it, it's still sealed. No, he didn't do it. I loaned it to my brother-in-law, but I guess he didn't do it. I can tell by the tape on the side. Over here, we have my last 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle. It's a, it's like a, a visit called Visiting the Mansion. It's going to be a little hard with the trees, but I, I can't wait to do it. I, I like that style. This was one I got on sale, and it's going to be hardest. Uh, this is going to be difficult, but I'm going to do it one day. And I'm looking forward to it because now I've seen videos that show you, you can separate the orange, then this water here, this water there, these rocks with a little bit of snow, whatever that's on there, and then the sand, and then just all this here. So I'll give that a shot one day. And I've got two 1,000 piece puzzles in square boxes, which are the same size as the Buffalo boxes, but they are the same exact puzzle size as these 1,000 piece puzzles. And the, uh, yeah, oh, I know what I was gonna say. Is It's the same, the, the box size. Oh, this was a 1,000 piece puzzle, I'm sorry. I thought it was another 500 box puzzles. So this one, I just got this from, um, I got this from, uh, at Barnes and Noble when I got the mushroom puzzle, which I don't think I told you about, but it's over there. This one here, I got um, secondhand. I don't know why I got it, because it's gonna be hard work, but I'll wait till the fall and I'll dive into it one day. Those are my Ravensburger puzzles and small boxes. Moving down to the second row, we have two 2,000 piece puzzles, which on two different occasions were marked down to less than $5 on Amazon. So I got them. Don't have any place to do them unless one day I find some kind of surface and then lay the surface on my card table. But I, for right now, I just have them because they were on sale. 
And here's another one, Antiques and Curiosities. It's a storefront similar to the bookshelf one I have from Ravensburger and one toy store I have from um, White Mountain. So this style is familiar to me. Then I have Mediterranean Windows from Eurographics, which I did a couple of years ago. I loved this one. Very, very easy, even though you have some repeating colors, but you don't have repeating uh, patterns, not really. And then this one looked really interesting. I got this from a friend, like secondhand. It's Ravens a Ravensburger puzzle, and it says augmented reality puzzle and video effect. So I don't know what that is, so we'll find out one day. This one, I think I did this one. Pretty sure I did, but it's gorgeous, and I'm pretty sure I did this one this year. This is an Amy Stewart puzzle that I love. Okay? Love. So... I just realized that I showed you some puzzles out of order. So everything up here is Ravensburger, and these three are Ravensburger right here, and then you have these other ones. So I don't, I'll, I'll rearrange that at some other time. So for right now, we're going to stick a couple things on these empty spaces on the shelves before we move on to the White Mountain. I have uh, two Suns Out puzzles, and this is one Bluebird Lookout, which is in my queue if for the next one of the next puzzles that I do. So I just want to put that up there. Another Sun South puzzle that I want to put up there for right now is called Cat Lineup, which I did maybe a month ago. So I just want to put that there for now. I have this Springbok puzzle. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's my only Springbok puzzle. And that's going to go there for now. That takes care of everything that was on the floor except for this so we'll start with the one that's in my hand one that's in my hand is my only 550 piece white mountain puzzle and it's called the hardware store i loved it even with all the people it was a great it was really easy to do as far as all the people were concerned but the shelves were a beast even though it's only 550 pieces the shelves were a little bit challenging but i loved it anyway so i'm just sticking that one right up here so we're going to start with the the ones the the three that I have on top and then we'll pull these out. This is called Boston. And at, at anytime I can get a puzzle that's Boston, New England, Massachusetts, the Harbor, Cape Cod, Nantucket, I'm going to try to get it. And that's why I got that one, that beautiful collage puzzle. Over here, we have the puzzle store. Remember I said that 2000 piece puzzle, I had a puzzle that had a similar style. That's this one, the puzzle store. And for comparison reasons, the other similar style is this one right here. So that's why I say similar style. Then up here we have Curious Kittens, which I just did this one last night. I don't know why I have it upside down, but I literally just did this and put it back in the box this morning then we move over here and i'm just going to just show you these by the picture these are, are my white mountain right now with those four that i have up top i have 18 more six on each of these three shelves which is 18 but i've also got four more coming and i don't really know where they're going to go but we'll just decide that by the end of the week when they arrive but they're beautiful. Um, I've done this one. I do want to show you this one. I have to show you this one. This is Steve Crisp. And it's jigsaw puzzles within puzzles because he's a puzzle artist. And like this is that 550 bookshelf book uh, hardware store puzzle I did. And I have a couple of others of his. And so when I was working on this puzzle, it was so cool to see the puzzle puzzles as I was assembling this bigger puzzle. And when I did this, I lost a piece, but my daughter was my PCA, my personal care attendant at that time. So one day she came over to make my bed and she found that missing piece. So this puzzle is intact. Here and here, and I know I said I wasn't going to show you these. These are beautiful lighthouse puzzles. I love lighthouses. So whenever I can buy puzzles with lighthouses, I do. Oh, since I showed you those two, I might as well show you this one. Look at this beautiful summer setting. I love this one by the pond. This is gonna be so hard. This came out in 2006 and it's called Television. I know it's a little wonky the way I'm showing it, but I'm just trying to keep it so I can slide it back in. 
This one I did um, Harbor Evening. I did this one right around the first week of fall, a few weeks back. One of my first puzzles when I got the puzzle bug again. And I've got two similar puzzles. I have Old Bookstore, and I just show you that really quickly. And I also have Local Bookstore. Now, I thought I only had Old Bookstore, and I have this one in my shopping cart. So now I can take this off of my shopping cart because I have it. Then I have this one here. This is the toy toy shop, and I'm pretty sure I did this one like two years ago, maybe. I have to check my queue. This one is Grandma baking cookies with her grands, and she's got some dogs that are waiting for them to drop something on the floor. There's a little cat by the door. Can't quite, there he is. So I love it. And then I like this one because like in the background, there's another house. So that's kind of cool. I've got a Cape Cod, Cape Cod one here. I love New, no, I love New England, which includes Cape Cod, another uh, collage puzzle. And then we have the Lobster Pound, which makes me think of Cape Cod again. Haven't done it, that one. And then, okay, hopefully I can give you a little bit more of a direct look on some of these puzzles. This one here is called Sunday Afternoon, another White Mountain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful puzzle. Most of these are new. I don't know if I've done any of these. This is called Pelican Parad uh, Paradise. I fell in love with this puzzle, although it's going to be hard with all those pelicans. This one is here. Here is called American Diner. Beautiful puzzle. Can't wait to do that. I just love White Mountain puzzles. This is called Train Ride. And we went on a train ride when we went to New Hampshire in August. And they had a like a souvenir store. So I went in and I bought this. It was the same price as regular price mount, uh, White Mountain Puzzles. It wasn't, you know, higher in price. And it makes me remember my trip to New England. But this is a winter scene, so I'm waiting for the first day of snow before I do this one. Then we have Games We Played. Now this came out in the 2000s, early 2000s somewhere. So it's a lot of older games, but that's fun, fun, fun. And my last uh, white mountain puzzle that I can show you for now until I get my do my puzzle haul is Murder in Little Piddling. I did this one on this channel. We solved it. Uh, the scenes on in each of these scenes are not what they are as in the puzzle itself. The scenes all change just a little bit. But if you look at the scenes here and then you look at the completed puzzle, you just very well might be able to solve it. Just don't watch my videos because I do tell you at some point who killed Mr. I can't remember his name, but there you have it. So those are my white mountain puzzles. Okay, I'm not going to pull these out because I have them pushed in the back and I'm going to put some puzzles in front. But these are six puzzles by Daryl Bush. And I'll just show you one to show you the style. And I love this. And it's funny because I think I did this one. I've only done one of these, one of these six. But I just love this style, which is why I have six of them. Then what I'm putting back on the shelf is my other Thomas Kincaid puzzle that I bought before I knew how blurry the images were. So that's going to be a challenge. I've never done a Terry Ridland puzzle before, but this looks pretty cool. So it doesn't look like it's going to be too blurry. And there's enough uh, distinction in certain areas of the puzzle. Actually... Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the camera. I kind of think I did this a couple years ago. I think I did this one. I'm pretty sure I've done this one. All right. So now these next four are my Chuck Pinson puzzles, which I learned after the fact, after buying them, that they come out to be very blurry. So here's one of them. This one here, Spring Mountain. Um, is it called Spring Mountain? Oh, Inspirations of Spring. I have it as a diamond painting, and it's called Inspiration of Spring Meadow. So I know I will do the diamond painting, but it will be a long, long while before I do this puzzle. Then I have this one, which I did, and this is how I learned how blurry Chuck Pinson jigsaw puzzles are. But look at that gorgeous image. That's what drew me to the puzzle. And notice each of them say that they have hidden images inside, but the puzzle is so blurry that I couldn't find the hidden images, maybe like two. And then I have this one, which is Island Time, and I may have this as a diamond painting. I just might, I'm not quite sure. So those are my Chuck Pinson puzzles. 
Okay, I'm at the bottom of my shelf, so I'm just gonna pretty much just have to tell you what the stuff is. I will turn this one upside down. And let me tell you about this one. Before I knew about texture and repeated colors, this puzzle did not intimidate me at all. I loved it. And my sisters were really like, why didn't you glue this? So if I ever do this one again, I'll glue it. On this shelf, I also have this night and day puzzle. I said I wasn't going to show you, but I guess I will. And then I have three hometown galleries. I thought I had four, but I only see three. I might have another one somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I have four hometown gallery puzzles by Heronin, which is uh, Charles Wysocki's brother. That's one of them. It's another one of them. And here's another one of them. They're beautiful. I just haven't done them yet. And then I have this hometown, which I don't think this, that is a Heronin, but it's along the same style. And you can tell it's not Heronin because the way Heronin does his trees. See these round trees? You see the way he does his trees? And the trees here are round, but they're different. This is weird. I, I do understand the difference, believe it or not. Then I have a 500 piece puzzle that I did one day just, you know, just to have something easy to do, even though you have a lot of the similar textures and colors. It still was a, good, a lot of fun. A Charles Wysocki puzzle in the wrong place. So we're not going to talk about that just yet. We have days to remember. I think I did, I'm pretty, yeah, I did this one because I remember the dark 500 pieces. And this is not a buffalo puzzle, but for some reason I have it out, so I'm just going to show you. So this is a no-name puzzle, but I got it from my sister, but I definitely want to do it. I'll let you know what the experience is like. Um, let's see, we're just going to just keep going from light, left to right. I have this Cities in Color, and this is Copenhagen. And I also have, bear with me. I'm looking for Paris. I know I have another one of these. Just don't see. Oh, here it is. I did this one already, 750, and this is uh, Raining in Paris. Very, very lovely puzzle. So I'll put those together. And then I'm going to just continue on the bottom shelf by telling you what's down here. This Wolves puzzle, I loved it, and I want to get another puzzle with Wolves. Whoops, I hope you could see that. This Wolves puzzle was so much fun. I loved it, and I want to get another one with Wolves. Now, here is one that I haven't done, and I am looking forward to it. It reminds me of the hometown puzzle, so I think I'll put it over here. Jane Wooster Scott, so it's the same style as hometown. And I've got these three country life puzzles, one of which I've done, and that was this one. I've done this one. And then I have two more in my stash, and I want all of them, and I will eventually get all of them. And then I have this third one. And then, let's see, this balloon puzzle that I've already done. I did this a few weeks ago, or maybe two weeks ago. And then, this one I haven't done. It was only $1.99. Don't know when I'll get to that because that's going to be so hard. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, my marine puzzles. Look at that one. Tiny, bu tiny bubbles. I paid fourteen seventy five for this, and today it was on sale for six ninety nine. Oh well. This one I've done. Tur Turtle Bay. I did this a couple of years ago. Actually, three years ago, 2019. Um, then I've got this jigs uh, donuts puzzle by, uh, it's called Signature uh, Collection Coffee and Donuts. And when you see some other puzzles that I want to show you later, you'll see that this <laughs> got a kid's toy, kid's toy in the way. You'll see that this pattern gets used a lot. I don't know if these are generic images or, or what, but. But you'll see you'll see puzzles like this quite a bit with different iterations. Then I have this other marine puzzle, which I should keep them in order. 
and this looks gorgeous i cannot wait to do it and my last marine puzzle is kind of like five puzzles in one but really six because you got the five uh like the glass that's in a boat for window for portholes five portholes and then you have the background that's my donuts we talked about that do i have anything else okay so that's all we're gonna talk about right here and then nope there's one more we can talk about right here this vivid collection which is a gradient puzzle i'm looking forward to doing that different texture so that should be a pleasure i did find a couple more i can show you this butterfly one is gorgeous but it looks like it's going to be hard it's called a uh, hummingbird oh i said butterfly it's a hummingbird picture puzzle this vivid puzzle i've already done 1000 pieces loved it and now let's see i'm gonna leave the rice for a minute we're gonna do some of these in the back and then we'll do these so let's pull these down now i i was pretty good about these it looks like I have 12 cat puzzles and no I have 11 because I have one that's not a cat puzzle but anyway I have 11 of these and I love them and of of these I've done these five I haven't done this one yet but I've done these five and I like to do them like every second or, I mean every third or fourth puzzle so I still have six to do and I will just keep on buying them until I have all of them so I'm just putting them back. Love this one. Look at that one. I do have another Cats of Child, Child's Wysocki. Some of these are just called Cats because there's different artists, but it started with the Cats of... Ch I'm sorry, that wasn't shown in the camera. Some of these are just called Cats, and then the original is called the Cats of Child's Wysocki. And I have a Cats of Child's Wysocki puzzle that's above my recliner. So I've got a couple. I've got two here and one back there. And this, this is just another cat's puzzle. It's not a Wysocki one. And then this 500 piece puzzle is kind of reminds me of the hometown ones or the country ones. So I love this one, but I've done that one. That takes care of that shelf. Now as we move over here, we're going to look at my other Wysocki puzzles. Remember over here, we had three Cats of Child's Wysocki puzzles plus the one that I have hanging in my office. But now I have a modest Wysocki collection. And I say modest because this artist, ha he's deceased, but dozens if not hundreds of jigsaw puzzles, some of which are hundreds and hundreds of dollars because they're out of print. So I just show you my collection just look at the timestamp if there was any of these you want to see up close so there's six there let me put these here and then you can kind of see whether or not you want to see them any closer and then i've got these five here and then i've got two, two more i feel like i have another one here somewhere but anyway got these two oops let's get a picture i love charles wysocki and when i was doing puzzles regularly i bought one or two a month and now that i'm doing puzzles regularly again that's what i'm going to do so i just bought two more wysocki puzzles and they're in transit let's see oh here's that other wysocki puzzle i knew i had another one so let's let's put it with the other uh I might have to fight to get that in. Oh, it's not going to go there because this is, it's not going to go in this spot because this is kind of chunky. So we'll just put this down here. And it looks like I have, oh, these are all charged Wysocki puzzles down here. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought I was done with Charles Wysocki. So I've got a lot. I've got more than I thought I had. So these are my other Charles Wysocki puzzles. Let me know if you like Charles Wysocki. And if you like Charles Wysocki, do you like his brother Heronim's uh, puzzles, which are usually hometown puzzles? It's two different, two brothers who are artists with totally different styles. Then in this area, just because I'm gonna keep it as a puzzle I want to do one day, it's a no name puzzle and it's got several black women on there and I want to do it. Reminds me of why I want to do this one because it has a black woman on there. So those are in my keep pile. 
I'm going to tell you about the one that I'm putting on the shelf, but I hope to make that last. Down here, and not because it's not important, just because I ran out of shelves, is my two home, um, my two Dottle puzzles, Three Little Pigs in Boston Market. Um, this is a generic puzzle, but I'm keeping it in the stash that I want to do because it is um, a gradient. But it makes me wonder. Let me see something. Do we have a repeat? Uh, very similar so I won't do them close together I'll do one and then I'll do the other but I'm still going to keep this no name puzzle with the puzzles that I want to do I'm almost done with this stash and then I got one more pile after I'm done with one more shelf I have one more pile and then I have two glow in the dark puzzles one, one of which I've done which is this one and it did glow in the dark and then I have this one which I have not yet done and remember, I have a glow in the dark up there, somewhere that I think I showed you earlier, bits and pieces. So that takes care of that shelf, and there's one more shelf, and these are my Amy Stewart puzzles. So I know you can't really see them, so just bear with me. So I have 14 Amy Stewart puzzles, and of these, I may have done six, so I've got plenty to keep me busy in the future. I think I have another one of hers coming in the mail. I'll always have another Amy Stewart coming in the mail. I can guarantee you that. These are the other six that are going in front. At some point, I'll sort these as to uh, the ones that I've done and have them in the back. And, and the ones that I haven't done, I'll keep in the front. I just haven't done that yet. And then I have two more. So there are 14 Amy Stewarts and maybe 20 Charles Wysocki. I've got all these cat puzzles here with this random. I've got these, sorry, get my slipper out the way. I've got these random bright, bright color puzzles here. And that takes care of my main shelf. Now I'm going to show you puzzles that are going to go in the back of some of these other puzzles. Okay, we are at the last part of this video. And what I'm going to show you here are puzzles that I wasn't so sure where I would put them on the shelf and maybe while I talk to you about them, they might want to jump in the to-do pile, but I'm not quite sure. We'll start off with two Kodak puzzles that came from my sister. Most, I think every puzzle in this batch minus four, and it's like 20 some odd puzzles, came from my sister. and. Two more that came from her that I showed you already, just so I can be thorough in what I got from her, was this one and this one. But these are staying in my puzzles that I want to do stash. All right. So this is one of them. It's beautiful. It's going to be complicated because you've got the houses and then you've got the reflection in the water. But I, I, I really kind of like the image. Just not sure when I'm ever going to get to it. This one with all those flowers. Oh, my gosh. But there's their Kodak, and they're supposed to have richer, truer colors. I don't know how good it'll be. This one is called Space Puzzle. I guess this is uh, an animal in space. I don't know. These puzzles are so heavy. They feel heavy. I like this puzzle. I'm keeping this with my stash. I love the fact that there are all these cupcakes and... Except for the, you know, you you have four yellow ones and a couple of red ones and whatever. I just like the fact that they're different colors and it's bright. So I want to keep that one. So I'm just going to, the ones that I think I'm going to do again, I'm going to put on my left on the floor. This is one of those ever famous donut puzzles. So that goes in my, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, stash. Since we're talking donuts, here's another one from the, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, stash. I think I did this one. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I did this puzzle. Not sure though. This one I love. It may be generic, okay? It may be secondhand. I mean, it may be an image that is not licensed by Hudata, but I love the image. So that's staying in my to-do pile. Here's another one, a Lafayette art puzzle. Never heard of Lafayette, but I love the puzzle, so it's staying in my to-do pile. I don't have a lot of Seiko puzzles in my collection, but I do have this one 
that came from my sister 550 pieces and it says glow in the dark so this is definitely a keeper two that are gonna go in the back of the shelf are these time away puzzles and here's another time away puzzle back of the shelf it goes I'm not saying i'm never gonna do it i'm just not i've got enough to keep me busy for a good year or more maybe two and then i have this one this big ben that's been carried from house to house to house every time we move i carry this puzzle with me but i've never done it then i have this one which it's a ripoff because i just did this as a white mountain puzzle i just did it this one here i never heard of the brand but it's beautiful this owl so this is going in my keep like to do pile I'm not saying I'm throwing any of these away because I'm not. I'm just not putting them in the forefront of my queue of puzzles that I want to work on. Now, this one here, this puzzles collection, and um, I don't know if that's the name of the company, but I like it. So it's staying in my to-do pile. This one I like because I don't have any puzzles like it at all. That's life keeping that baby this one I like because it reminds me of visiting my great-grandmother in Reedville Massachusetts when I was a kid so this is says Veranda which Veranda views and I'm trying to see who the manufacturer is and well it's called Dixie's Veranda so I guess Veranda views is the name of the puzzle company but it's staying in my to-do stash then I just have a few more to show you. And um, before I get to that stash, let's look at this puzzle here. Can you see that? I'll hold it still for a couple of seconds. It's a little blurry, just waiting for it to come back in. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. That's what you get. That's the back of the box. That's the front of the box. That's one side, and that's the other side. This way back of the shelf. This lady, when I bought some puzzles from her, she th would always throw in extra puzzles as thank you gifts, which were those time away puzzles, but also this buttons puzzle, which I will do one of these days. And the pieces are very, very small. I have to tape that box and we'll put it to the side. I found a random puzzle piece, so I'll stick it there for now. This is my only mini puzzle, but I love it. It's going to be hard because it's mini and because of all the lights and the, the reflection, but I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it. So it's going in my I'm going to do it one day stash. This is a 100 piece puzzle of a Pomeranian. Don't know where this even came from, but it's here. Four more to go and I'm all done. Four puzzle bug puzzles, which will go in the back of my closet, but it doesn't mean my books, uh, my puzzle shelf. But it doesn't mean I won't ever do them. And this is, uh, what is that again? No, I'm just kidding. Jelly beans. I love this one because of the houses in the different colors. So this is kind of kind of in the front of my not really wanting to do. Because I like this one. And I like this one too. I like this. I don't know why, but I do. So I enjoy that, that picture. And my last puzzle bug is this one, which, you know, is going to go in the back of the shelf. But who knows, one of these days I may get down to my bare minimum and have to spend time with it. So those are all my puzzles. I don't know how many clips I have recorded, so I've got some editing to do. And um, depending, um, what I'm thinking is to edit this video and get it out there so that you can see my current puzzle collection. And then just do a haul video once I receive all of my Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals that I got from like White Mountain, from um, Michizo. I got some Schmidt puzzles, some Buffalo puzzles, and some... I feel like there's another brand. So I'm, I might... There will be another video after this one. Now, some of these... My grandson's always are putting stuff on my shelf. I don't know if I, if it's going to take the color. Up. Okay, it didn't take the color up. Um, if there's anything that you saw that you want to see even closer up, just timestamp it. Let me know, and I will 
put those close up of images in my community page. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Now we're going to get to some editing. Bye bye. Whoops. I'm back because I saved one puzzle to show you. See this puzzle? It's going to be hard. It's going to be impossible. But I'm going to do it. Want to know why? I'm going to show you why in one second. Product name Q and K puzzle. Product material wood. I have a wooden puzzle and I didn't even know it. I've been wanting a wooden puzzle. So this gets put in my to-do stash. And I will take my time with it. I might even do this one on foam core so I can put it underneath my bits and pieces tray or underneath my bed when I'm not working on it. I can't, or I might put this in my, actually, I tell you where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in my Ravensburger puzzle keeper so that I can just work on this slowly because it's going to be a lot of work doing all that gray. But anyway, now I can say goodbye, but I, I just saw this out the corner of my eye and I wanted to tell you about it. This is my final result. It might be temporary, especially since I just got three more puzzles in the mail. 15 more puzzles to go and then I will do a haul.